How many times have you hit print, let it running and came back to find this? A warped failed PLA print. We've all been there. I used to waste so much time fixing warping issues and it's one of the most frustrating things about 3D printing. But what if I told you that fixing this is easier than you think? Today, I'm going to show you the fastest way to stop your PLA prints from warping and why this simple tweak changed everything for me. Let me tell you about the time I spent hours printing this big project. Everything was going well, or so I thought. About halfway through the print, I started noticing the edges curling up. By the end, my entire print was ruined. PLA is usually easy to work with, but this, it was a disaster. Here's the thing, fixing PLA warping doesn't require a ton of complex steps. The quickest way to solve it, it starts with bed preparation and a few smart settings in Bamboo Studio. Step 1. Keep your bed clean. Oils and dust mess up adhesion, so before every print I give the bed a quick wipe with isopropyl alcohol. This alone can make a huge difference. Next, it's all about the bed temperature. A lot of people assume cranking it up will help the print to stick, but for PLA, too high is just as bad. If your bed is set to 65 degrees or higher, you're actually increasing the chance of warping. The optimal temperature for PLA is around 60 degrees Celsius, and that's what I set mine to. Always read the recommended temperatures on the filament box too. Different brands can have slightly different ranges, and it's important to stick to those guidelines. Now let's talk about the real game changer. The first layer settings. This is where most people get it wrong. If your first layer isn't perfect, you're setting yourself up for failure. I always adjust my first layer height to about 0.2 to 0.25 millimeters. Too high and it won't stick. Too low and you'll squish the filament. You also want to slow down your first layer speed to around 50% of your normal speed. Now, this next part is often overlooked. Drying your filament. If your PLA is absorbing moisture, it can cause all kinds of issues, including warping. Most people think you need an expensive filament dryer to solve this, but here's the hack. You can dry your filament using your own printer. For myself, it's the P1P. According to the Bamboo Lab Wiki, the P1P has a built-in filament drying feature. Just pop your spool in and set the machine to run its drying cycle. This can save you from failed prints caused by dump filament. Another common mistake is cooling. With PLA, you want your cooling fan to run about 100%. But if you're noticing warping, try to drop it in around 80%. This slows the cooling process just enough to prevent those edges from peeling up. And don't forget about your environment. Drafts or fluctuating room temperatures can ruin an otherwise perfect print. If you are in a cooler space, consider an enclosure or just close those windows to keep the airflow consistent. Now, let's see these tips in action. On the left, you've got my original print warped, lifting at the edges, completely unusual. On the right, the same print, but this time with all the settings we just went over. As you can see, no more warping. The difference is night and day. If you're looking to take things to the next level, here's an advanced tip, adaptive layer heights. This allows your printer to vary the layer height depending on the part of the print, which can improve adhesion in tricky areas. I like to use this feature on prints with larger flat surfaces to keep them from warping. And there you have it, with a clean bed, the right temperature and some smart cooling and filament drying adjustment, you can say goodbye to PLA warping for good. I would love to hear about your 3D printing war stories in the comments. What's been your worst fail print? Let me know, and I'll be sharing some of the best ones in an upcoming video. Before I end the video, I just want to leave you with one big last trick. Don't remove your print from the bed until the bed is cooled down. 
Seriously, this was a nightmare for me. I tried so many times to remove it very quickly because I was so excited to remove the print. And then you take the build plate, you bend it, pa pa pa, and trying to remove the print. And trust me, this ruined the prints so many times, at least for myself. And this is my bonus tip. And thank you so much to the sponsor of this video, Polymaker, which sent me a lot of filaments to try out and I'm having a blast. And if you are interested in how to make a 3D logo from 2D, like this one right here, it's my logo, well, here's the video for you here and in the description down below. Also, make sure to check my other video where I show how to remove supports easy easy with one magic setting. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit like and if you haven't already, subscribe for more tips like this. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.